So this video is designed for the National Sport Federation uh, Zeus Administrator. So as your sports Zeus Administrator, you will have received an email giving you a link to this, uh, this site, as well as your own personal username and password. Should you ever forget your password, there's a link here below to help you retrieve it. Um, you can also contact the office of the BOC who will be able to uh, reset your password for you. So I'm going to log in as the team manager for athletics. Now the first page that I'm brought to is called My Games. So this will sh display each of the games which uh, you currently have access to and, and are currently open. So we're going to log into Guadalajara 2011. Now the first page that you'll come to is your basic uh, welcome screen. Um, on this home page you're going to get some basic information on Guadalajara 2011. So for example you have some contact information to the BOC office. Um, below that are some important dates including the accreditation deadline. Uh, there's also a link to the Guadalajara website. So Zoo should be really your first step. If you're, if you're ever looking for information uh, on a particular games, log into Zeus and chances are it's there. And if it's not there, then let us know and we will add it there for you. Um, over here to the left, we have each of the sports which the Bahamas are participating in. So if I click on athletics, for example, it's going to have sports specific information on athletics. So for example we have a link to the athletics technical manual, uh, the event schedule, a list of events, and some information on the various governing bodies. So the same goes for each of the other sports. So you'll be able to find your, your sport specific information within your Zeus. Over here on the right we have what's called the My Zeus panel. Um, so the first link here is called contact and personal. You'll see here 6 out of 26. That's uh, showing you that there's 26 total fields of information and so far you have filled out 6 of them. So I can log in here at any time and edit my own personal contact details. So if we click on that and go in, so you can edit your own information. So you can see the, the, six, the six fields that are currently there are the basics, such as first name, last name, etc., email address. So you can edit those fields and scroll down and click Save. The second link under Contact and Personal is Reports. This is where you can generate some reports of your team. So right now within Guadalajara we have uh, three example reports here. There's an uh, overall accreditation report. So that's going to pull out basically all of the information listed in contact and personal in one report. Uh, there's a second accreditation selected report which is just those athletes that have been selected to the games. And the third one is just a contacts report. And we'll, we'll use the contacts report as an example. So if I click on the name contacts report it's going to basically generate for me a preview of the contact information. So this particular report has all of the athletics uh, athletes and officials, first and last name, address, email, and phone number. Now you can also generate that exact same report in Excel format by clicking on the arrow to the left. So if I click on the arrow to the left of contacts report, it's going to generate an Excel file for me. So it'll be that exact same uh, table, just in Excel format. So you can save that, open it, and manipulate the data as you please. So those are reports. Underneath reports is my team, and this is where you're likely to spend the bulk of your time in Zeus. This is where you can uh, edit each of your athletes and officials information. So here we have the list of all of the athletes and officials that have been added 
to Guadalajara 2011 for athletics. The process for adding these uh, is simply by contacting the office of the BOC. The BOC office has the, the ability to add the names as well as the photo and change each of the athletes status. Um, so just contact the office, we will add the names and photos for you and then you have the ability to to edit their details. So let's have a look at um, my personal one, Colin Whitney. I've added myself as an athlete in athletics for Guadalajara. So if I scroll down and find myself, you can see here Colin Whitney is a long-listed athlete for Guadalajara. Um, now to the right of, of Colin are all these icons. The first one is uh, the telephone icon is contact and personal. So this is the same as, as we just looked at for you personally, but this is for Colin Whitney. Colin Whitney's contact and personal. Below it is Leslie White's contact and personal. So if I click on this, I can edit Colin's details. Okay, so you can go in, edit each, each of the fields for your athlete or official, and at the bottom click Save. So we'll go back. So that's the first icon is Contact and Personal. The next one to the right of it is called your bio questions. Uh, within here are some questions that we're asking of each of the athletes. So who is your current coach? So for Colin Whitney, my Zeus coach is of course Richard DeGroen. So we'd enter the coach and go next. There's also a visa section. So this is where you'd fill out for your athletes and officials whether or not they have a uh, US visa and green card. You fill out the required information here. So we'll go back. So we've gone through contact and personal, bio. The next one is medical questions. So similar to the bio, this time the questions are relating to, to health. So we have uh, a request if, to, to discover if the athletes have a, a TUE. It will be entered here. Um, things like, are they taking any medications? Do they have any allergies? You'd fill out all of this information for each of your athletes. Next to the bio questions is sport questions. So in sport questions, you're going to find things like, what is your personal best time, season best, qualifying best, those sorts of things. So we have basically three categories of questions for each of your athletes and officials. On the second row, the first one you see here, the backpack icon, you can see I've already answered three, all three questions. This is where you give your sizes, uniform sizes. So for Guadalajara, we provided our athletes with uh, running sneakers, a tracksuit, and a, a travel shirt. So you simply select the athlete sizes, 10 and a half, large and large, and save it. back. So that's outfitting. And the final one is travel. So you can see there's nothing entered in here currently, but if the travel details have been updated, this is where you'll find the athlete or official's travel itinerary in here. Okay, so that's your my team. Uh, under my team is my games, so we already had a, a look when we first logged in, this is what it brought us to. So if you're working on multiple games, so uh, for example, in the past few months we were working on both Isle of Man and Guadalajara, so if you wanted to switch between games, you can click on my games and it will t you can, can select the games you'd like to work on. And the final one here, self-explanatory, is change your password. So that is Zeus in a nutshell for the team manager.